has. Walter makes a run ahead of it. Burkamp suddenly changed pace through the centre. It's Burkamp! That's magnificent! The move, and then this, which left Dabby's ass totally stranded. Welcome to a Burkamp Wonderland, an Arsenal podcast. I am back, as you can see, after my brief hiatus, because work gets in the way of football, which is sacrilegious, if you ask me. But I've been I've been rejoined with the man that is Danny. Danny, what a game! What a game! What really fun, enjoyable throughout. Made a plethora of notes because I was just so enthralled by how much action was happening. Well, this will not be one that gets talked about much when we look back at this um, double season of the Champions League and the Premier League. We will yep. gloss over this one. Unlike the first one we played them, where that was lots of talking points. This one, not so much. Not so much, that's for sure. We didn't write too many notes on the uh, on, on in that regard. However, because of the, the, the huge changes that we'll go into in just a moment, we'll say hello to some people first and foremost. But because of all the changes, we were talking before we clicked the live button, Danny, that it's so nice to be in a position where we can make so many changes to a team and still manage to grind out uh, a pretty decent result without really getting out of second gear. There was no real moments where I was very worried. Uh, I was very assured. Um, you know, we've easily got one of the best defensive systems in the world at the moment. Um, I watched the City game. Absolutely incredible performance from the boys. Um, really just, I can't believe how well Saliba and Gabriel have created this partnership, which is easily the best centre-back partnership on the planet right now. And I can't see anyone else that can really compare with that. But at the end of the day, we got the result. We got the three points. We managed to rotate a hefty amount of players. We rested another uh, a load as well. And uh, we got the result, Danny. So what else can you ask for, really? What else can you Yeah, do? well, you put these things in order of importance. Three points, clean sheet, no injuries. Everybody, apart from Timber, is fit. Uh, five changes, brought five subs on. Uh, I mean, when even Eddie got a game, so you know things are uh, going easy when Eddie got a game. No True. one got a kick or anything in the game. We've got a couple no. of could be seen as a uh, one dodgy booking from Havertz trying to dive in the middle of the pitch. I don't know. What yeah, I didn't doing. like that. We'll talk about it. I didn't like yeah. it. Um, but, but yeah, yeah no, there's nothing to grumble about apart from a very boring game. But uh, you can't win the championship by playing uh, champagne football every game, can you? No, you can't. You've got to sign time, so I'm grind out a result. And because of the changes that were made, and the fact that Saka didn't even make the bench, never mind made the team, um, I think, you know, we weren't going to be looking at a game that was going to be filled with goals galore like we've usually seen, because I think we've only made uh, 49 changes in the league thus far, um, which is one of the lowest in the league. I don't know if it mm. is probably the lowest. I'm not sure. It's definitely lower than City and Liverpool. That's for sure. I remember hearing that stat. But 49 changes, we've only used 25 players this season. I know it's, I know the Prem's only 25 players, but you can change things up halfway through the season, and we've not done that. We've just kept players. So we've made very few changes, and we're, we've seen that by such a, an incredible performance in 2024 in the calendar season. But uh, let's go and say good, uh, good morning, or good morning, good evening, good uh, whatever you, wherever you are, let's go and say hello to you guys. So we've got Jimmy H, evening gents. That is an interesting... Is that the Joker? I think that's probably the Joker, isn't it? And and all the numbers. Hi, gents. Solid result tonight. Ter and Enkezi is still terrible. I was, you know what, right, Danny? I don't know about you, but even like the last five, ten minutes of the game, he was plodding around like he'd done 90 minutes. Did you notice that? He wasn't <laughs> he wasn't tracking runs, he wasn't putting in a shift to push the and push the line and put pressure. I just I don't well, know what I've else always... to say to him. Like I've always said about Eddie, when he's playing on the pitch, he plays like a child has just been told to tidy their bedroom as they strop up the stairs. Fantastic analogy. Yeah. I, I, the guy plays for 20 minutes and he looks like he's he, he thinks he's warranted to be able to look like he's been playing for 90. I can't stand the bloke. I think he knows his time is up. Yeah, I know. You'd think you'd, it would it would it would light a fire inside of his belly and and make him perform, but it doesn't seem to be the case. But, the, but there we are. Phil Macker, hello, ladies. 
Uh, we've got formerly Noza, one of the most dull 2 0 wins, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, that's what we were just okay. saying. And in all the numbers, the best, in quotations, Argentinian keeper in the world, letting a prophetic free kick from Frona. I haven't seen the goal. Um, I can't stand Martinez. I can't stand Martinez. I think his attitude is, is absolute dog shit. Not a fan of him at all. And I like the fact that you put it in quotes as the best Argentinian keeper. Phil Macker, um, Herb Garden in a league of his own with his passing skills at a flipping genius. I just, I don't know what to say. The guy is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. It doesn't matter who he's playing with in the middle of the park. He still manages to find a way. He combined, he combined beautifully with, uh, with, uh, um, with uh, Havertz tonight, Danny. Didn't he? Um, Did. Like it's, uh, and Havertz. It, they, they really had like a synergy thing going on. And it's getting better by the game. Yes, I completely agree. Um, so I'm absolutely buzzing with him. There was a few moments where there was a little few moments of techers from a few players, but we'll go over that. John Hickley on Facebook. We did. Uh, we done what we had to do. Rested loads of players after a hard game at the weekend. Completely concur with that sentiment. Bill Macker, I've said it before. Kai bought his Chelsea dark arts to the Emirates and Arteta needs to beat it out of him. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. See, the thing is, I like his shithousery. It kind of goes on par with uh, with Ben White. I've had no real issues with his shithousery. However, with the dive tonight, not a fan of that. There, I'm not even sure why he dove. It was near enough in the centre of the park. I, I just, I don't know what he's doing there. Maybe he's um, diving to try and get off quicker. Potentially. Well, he did come straight off afterwards for a mm. substitution. It looks like City have scored another here. Liam Greyhurst has informed us all. Uh, let's go and see who the goal scorer is here. And it is Phil Foden again with Rodri with the assist. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. But it is what it is, I guess. Phil Macker, Eddie will be a great signing for Leicester next season. Yeah, well, it's going to be interesting to see who gets promoted. It's between, I think it's like Leicester, Ipswich and Leeds. They're all fighting for the for the top spot at the moment. So we've got uh, two three-horse races in the Premiership and the Championship. Um, Hen- how do you pronounce this again, Danny? I don't want to that's do it. this wrong. Henty, I think. Henty, I was going to say Henty. It's Finnish. Right, that's it. You're correct. For once, I'm awake at this time in the UK. Evening, chaps. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I know you're probably an hour or two ahead of us. Uh, Trav, howdy, gents. Welcome back. Renry, hello, fellow Gooners. A very uneventful routine win. I will take eight more, please. I like it. I like it. We've got to look at the silver linings. Um, Patrick Carson, evening. Good evening. And Sai, hello, hello. Uh, no, no, I'll tear her out, which is interesting. Phil Macker, Herb Garden reminds me of Gaza. Do you agree? I thought Gaza was incredible football player. Yeah. Absolutely seller class. The guy was incredible, even though he played for the scum. Um, the goal uh, with the dentist chair celebration in 96. I still remember watching that game when I was like eight years old and just being blown away. I just, I loved the connection between uh, Gaza, Sheringham and Shearer where they kept laying it off each other for each other and then Shearer rifles it into the roof of the net. Can't remember the game. I just remember that moment. That was Super- in Scotland. Was it? It was the same game where Gaza scored and done the dentist chair, right? Yeah. Celebration. Yeah, yeah laid on great. the floor and they all squirted water in him. And then uh, the, uh, Scotland got a penalty and Uri Geller said that he made the ball move because he was in the air and helicopter watching. I don't, I don't actually, remember this. I don't, I don't got- remember that. I've got the predictions in a tab ready to go. So you lot need to remind us to do the predictions and see how many of you that bothered. Oh, right. Okay. Out. Well, what we do is, what we'll do is we'll, I'll do a few more hellos uh, yeah. and then we'll do the prediction, shall we? And then we'll go into the rest of the stuff. Okay. Yeah. So Super Cali, I love Emil there. I said it. Yeah. He had, a, he had a great game tonight. Got man of the match in my eyes and a lot of people's eyes as well. Uh, Stefan Selby, Havertz wants to play Champions League. Havertz looked great tonight. Patrick Carson would lo- uh, be nice to see Ipswich return. The Tractor Boys. Avon, evening. Super Cali, what the fuck is Herb Garden? Herb Garden is uh, Erdegaard. Uh, Rudy, evening, guys. I'm back. Welcome back, Stefan. There is some nice Gaza videos on YouTube. YouTube is a, a filled with loads of stuff like that. And Ketter and Nelson are two definites to go in the summer. Nelson was absolutely boring. Every single time he had possession of the ball, he would look for a backwards or sideways pass. He's only got one foot. It was painful to watch. It was every single instance. There was not really any moments where you were like, right, you've got to really take the game on and give it some because you need to show what you can do. And he, he just he had, he had nothing. Ball on his left foot, could he? He was trying to do the sack of roll. What he should have done is play as a right winger 
with the right foot crossing it of his right foot, but he didn't. He'd run down and, like you say, he'd stop, yeah. cut back, and whereas Saka would then go on his left foot, he's trying to pass back of his right foot. And yeah. I, really got very, I got very, very bored of it very, very quickly. Uh, um, Phil Macker, I was um, at all of the Euro 96 England games, best days of my life until the semi. That's what she said. Um, Sai, I forgot, and that is unacceptable. My apologies. Our hashtag Arteta out. Well, I'm glad I reminded you. Renry, no Harlan in the City team. Must still be in Saliba's pocket. Yeah, he didn't start tonight. He did not start tonight. And Rudy, if Kai Havertz receives a yellow card against Brighton and Aston Villa, he will face a two-game suspension. Yeah, the guy likes to pick him up, doesn't he? And then, and all the numbers. Um, I, you look up Nelson in a Theosaurus and you will see a squad player. I would see an impact sub or maybe even just surplus to requirements. Stefan Selby, Euro 96 was amazing. Rudy, for me, ESR had his, um, used his chance tonight and very much unlike Nelson, that is completely correct. And then we've got Tom Andrew Oyoy and I think and was supposed to say if no, for me or something. No. Oh, if you look up Nelson in the Theosaurus. There we go. Anyway, guesses, Danny, what do we have? What do we have? So let's see what people predicted for the game tonight. It finished 2 0 with uh, a goal from Erdegaard and then an own goal. Ed, Nelson couldn't even get on the end of that. Nelson could not get in even the end of that. But here we go. Let's have a, have a look at what the predictions were for last night. Are the listeners' predictions for Arsenal v. Luton Town on Wednesday night? Can you hear that? 30. Yes. Phil Macker, Arsenal 7 0. Revenge for the Cup. Tom Andrew, Arsenal 5, Luton 0. Mr. Waffles, Arsenal 4, Luton 0. Sai, off his trolley as usual. Arsenal 6, Luton 8. One day, they're going to come true. <laughs> Super no. has gone Arsenal 5, Luton Town 0. Emil Smith Rowe, hat trick. Any Ooh. latecomers? Absolutely not. Oh, Super says Bowie, his animal, predicts 3 0. Close. Dan, what's your prediction? I'm going to go with Arsenal 4, Luton 1, and I will caveat that with a tea bag. I don't think we need to hear my prediction. Oh, really? There you go. I can't, I'm, I can't believe, I can't believe that Stan said that Luton were going to score. That's all I'm going to say. Shameful. On that. Shameful. Absolutely. Are you trying to tell me that we can, we can stay nil-nil against City at the Etihad? And then concede a goal against Luton at home. Is that what we're going with? Sometimes Stan, he, the, the 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 excitement gets the better of him. Clearly, clearly, the man needs some sleep. Um, but uh, yeah, who got the closest? Like three 0 Who who said that? That was uh, Super Super's cat. Oh well, congrats. To the cat, I guess was the closest. Well, uh, to be fair, I thought we all, I, th I think we all thought it was going to be a bit of a goal fest. We saw the lineup, and I think I'm sure a lot of people's opinions would have changed the moment they saw the lineup, especially with the likes of Reese Nelson playing. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so they, bad they watching know their play football. Numbered. Good, there's good gonna have to, God. There's going to be a whole load of players that, that play, were in the squad today that won't be here next season. Yeah. There's going to be quite a few. I agree. All right, should we go over the lineup then, Danny? Should we have a little butchers at the lineup? And whilst I do that, you can just flick through all the comments um, and vice versa. So yeah. we had Raya back with Raya in goal. No change there. White, Saliba, Gabriel. Zinchenko comes in for Kivior. I think this is probably going to be a game where it's probably likely to see someone like Zinchenko to start. So I had no real qualms with that. It was interesting to see five changes from the original lineup being made. Um, but once again, we say... This is probably going to be the re this really the only time, Danny, isn't it? This is really the only game that we can really do this sort of thing because we've got a really intense, too intense, a wigwam in a teepee. Hmm. Too intense is the, it's one of my favourites. Um, like, uh, run up to the end of the season with Champions League football to boot. We've got Bayern Munich to play twice this month. Uh, what an interesting time that's going to be. Um, you know, we had also ESR starting his first game in... Four years. <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, Who wait, no, sorry. That? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't uh, ESI. It was Nelson. I apologize. It was oh, Nelson's Nelson. first start. Yeah. Nelson's first start since 2020. I apologize. It was Nelson, not uh... ESR. We had Trossard start as well, party. Uh, and it was party's first start since the start of the season. 
So interesting stuff there as well. But the biggest shock for me was the fact that Saka didn't even make the bench. Danny, what did you make of that? That Saka didn't even make the bench. Are Good. you worried? Are you worried about the Saka? Well, he's played a thousand games in a row. He needs a rest, doesn't yes. he? Put his feet up, play a bit of FIFA, have a True. dominoes, job done, bit of garlic bread. Ugh, dirty boy. But yeah, no problem with that. I, I said, I mean, me and Stan were debating last night whether we should play our be best 11 and then take players off as and when we've won the game yep. or the other way around, do what Arteta did and start a weakened 11 and then if we need them, bring them on. So he did a bit of both, didn't he? Yep, he did a bit of both. He did a bit of both. Funny enough, we scored both of the goals in the first half before any changes was made. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it enables us to be able to make these changes because we've got such a rich squad. It's nice to see the bench stacked as it was without even Saka being there. It was nice to see it. Um, Luton, um, because of all their injuries, they normally play at three at the back, but they played a four at the back. And I actually commend Luton for actually trying to play football, Danny. I don't know how you thought about that. They tried to play out the back. They got caught out a few times, um, but they tried to play football. They didn't sit with a low block. I feel like a lot of teams, if you asked them six months ago, low block would have been the go-to to go against Arsenal. But because we're so good at dealing with that low block now, Luton has to, they had to play football. And I thought they played fairly well. They definitely finished the game um, quite strong. Uh, Chong, I thought, would have started the game. Maybe it was uh, lack of match fitness, or maybe it was burnout because he was he played on the weekend and he played really well. But um, yeah, I thought Luton played fairly okay. Danny, what did you I've, what did you make of? I've no idea how the block works. Even on Football Manager, I'm still not sure how the block works. All I heard today is we have a higher block because we have all four of our centre backs playing in the last third of the pitch. So I'm gotcha. beginning to. I mean, I've only just figured out what an inverted fullback is. And I don't right. like that. So I'm not going to delve too much into the high block, low block, gag and press, all of that lot. No worries, Get it, Danny. launch it, score, job done. Route one football. Route one football, Danny. Is that Can't your go-to, is it? Yeah. I like it. All right, well, you know, goal's a goal. Doesn't matter how it needs to be scored. Just goal's a goal, Ooh. right? Um, right, so uh, have you got any minutes, Danny? I certainly do. I have got six-minute lovely drag back by Erdegaard. And then seventh, there are goalkeeper arguing with one of their defenders. Tidy. Eighth minute, the Zinni Rocket. It's nice to see him back on form. Um, yeah, it was a nice little Erdeg Erdegaard layoff. Um, and then uh, the Zinni shot. The uh, Ukrainian um, Zico, as he likes to call himself. He's got it printed on his underpants. He nick did he nickname himself? I think I think he probably did. Oh, I just made it up. It's one of the two. Never good when you nickname yourself like the special no. one. No. Um I've got 16 minutes here. Good interception from Zinni. I thought Zinni played fairly well tonight in, yes. in regards to his defensive capabilities as well. It was mm. nice to see a change of pace with his defensive capabilities. So uh, what else have you got, Danny? You got anything? I've got a 20-minute one. Um, we uh, That broke their record of 18 consecutive Premier League games they've scored in, which was the most in the Premier League. We stopped that. We, we put an end to that. No more. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's one I've got for the end of the match. But I've yeah, let it go I now because it's uh, it is brewing much like this poop I'm waiting for. Do you know what? Right, I, I think it's what that people talk about the forty points being the the sort of the cusp where you can you're sort of safe mm. from relegation. There's talks about how the that points um, bar is not potentially going to be needed this year. It really shows how stretched the Premier League is from the top to the bottom. Um, do you see Luton staying up, Danny? Oddly, yes, I do. Uh, because Everton and Forest aren't out of their the trouble with the, the FA over dodgy payments, um, dodgy purchases, dodgy transfers, and all that other stuff. Forest look like they're going to get another points deduction. Everton are still in trouble, and they're the two teams above them. And Luton are genuinely playing half decent football. I mean, their recent run of results four losses and two draws. And the teams around them are doing better. Um, but I can see if the other two teams lose more points, then they may well scrape 17th place if they're lucky. But Sheffield United and Burnley, as we know, are down. Although Burnley yes. four undefeated, as we can see here. But yeah, I don't think I don't think you'll need 40 points to be safe this season. It could more like be 35, 36, and you'll be yeah, safe. Yeah, this is it. This is what I was mentioning. So it's mm. going to be an interesting run to the end of the season. But as I said, it really shows how stretched things are um i've got some i've got some moments here 20 minute um nice cruyff turn from trossard i thought trossard had a brilliant game tonight 
um, really showed his worth, really showed that he could go uh, stretch the game by playing along the byline, but also coming inside and doing some trickery in the middle of the park. And then we come up to the first goal, Danny. 24th minutes. Uh, 24th yes. minutes. That's 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 English for you. Um, ESR puts the pressure on, um, wins the ball, plays it through to Erdegaard. Erdegaard to Havertz. Havertz lays it off to Erdegaard, and then he rifles it into the bottom corner across the keeper. Have we got any images, Danny, to have a little butchers of that um, moment? We have got the this lovely Look at his face. He's got the face of, of a constipated eighty-year-old there that he's put in every ounce of energy, and he's got dark powers in that foot, and he's putting it in. And the, that poor bloke there is already been taken off the pitch once with an injury, and or maybe that was a little bit later. But yeah, what what positioning, and then after that. There you go. This is what I do. Thank you very much and good night. <laughs> That's exactly right. It's it's um it's a bit of a trademark situation with Erdegaard. He hits them on the uh, with the first hit, um the first touch. Sorry, and uh, and what a goal from the captain leading the line, showing how it's done. But for me, I thought ESR had an incredible game tonight. He have obviously obtained the man of the match award today. But uh, you know, the fact that he puts the pressure on. Um, to win the ball in the manner that he does, I think says a lot. I think a lot of people worried about maybe, you know, his time at Arsenal is done. But I think maybe, Danny, is this is this game the, the spark that we could receive? Because I tell you what, having an in-form Emil Smith-Rowe that we had a few seasons ago, yeah. where he scored like 10-odd 10, 10 goals off the bench, I tell you what, I cannot think of a better time for a player like this in a system like we play for him to come into form and do what he does coming off the bench with the games that we've got coming up, Danny. This is the perfect it. opportunity for him. Players are going to need resting. We're playing. Three, I think Hente exactly. said we, we're we playing every 3.8 or 4.1 days, which is hectic. Yep. We've yep. got a full strength squad and he's brought him on, not because he needed to. I mean, he gave him the start, not because he needed to, like he usually brings him on because someone's injured, yep. Yep. but because he's earned it. And I think it's uh, there was, it might have been an issue in training where, when you've got all the talents that um, Smith Rowe has, you maybe would be begrudged being told what to do. So it could be someone. I mean, we know that Arteta is a stickler for I say jump and you say how high, sir. I agree. And then you jump twice as high. So, I, I mean, look at him. Look at that. Man of the match. I'm a, Wonderful. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm so happy for him. I've mentioned it before. I met the bloke. Lovely. Genuinely lovely. Very warming person. Um 28 minutes, Havertz is class. Great pressure from him. I thought Havertz had an incredible game again today. 30th yeah. minutes, nice tracking back from Nelson, which is probably the only time I write something positive about Nelson. So I don't know what I was feeling like at that particular moment, but we'll move past it. 34 minutes, how ESR did not score, I don't know. Great play. Man of the match, I wrote, at mm. 34 minutes. Good shout. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay, he... well, there we go. I'm, I even shock myself. 35 minutes so far, not a lot from Luton, but uh, fares to play it for the way that they're trying to play. The plan of trying to play it from out the back. 41 minutes, white is class. Tekkers really That's showed what I've beautiful. Tekkers, Tekkers, yep. Really <laughs> lovely bit of footwork in the middle of the park to retain possession. Playing um, right eight. He did a couple of those little Cruyff yeah. turns during the game, yes. didn't he? I think they yep, were Cruyff turns. He did. Turn. He did. Uh, a massive fan of Benny Blanco. Yeah. Guy's incredible. So very happy with him. That he had another good game today. 42 minutes party. Unlucky Ooh. to not get a tap in and on target. Yes. Danny, it would have that been lovely to have. That, very true. It would have been lovely for that to have happened. 43 minutes. Does Nelson ever look forward? No. No. Okay, cool. Left and, and back like he's crossing the road. That's it. He's like a. He's like Hen Henderson even looks at him and goes, mate, this boy no. don't pass forward to not enough, does he? he just, he's, Jesus Christ. Still a decent um, player, though, and he's got a good future ahead of I him. I know, there. yeah. You yeah, can't take out the best right winger in the world, one of the best players on the planet, and then yeah. put Nelson in. So that is a bit of a um, a uh, a bit of an ask for someone who plays hardly any first-team football. Still a good footballer, but you can't you can't come in, and he showed tonight. I'll, I'll try my best, Gov, but I ain't going to be able to manage it. Very, so, very uh, true. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. Four minutes. 44 minutes, Danny. Own goal. I thought it was in. I thought it was Nelson scoring, but yes. the show otherwise. Um, great work from ESR and Trossard out on the left-hand side. Pretty yeah. poor defensive lineup work from Luton. 
Um, ESR is uh, able to get in behind, go to the byline and play the ball in the, uh, across the across the face of the goal in a really deadly position. And then an own goal from the guy that uh, we saw in the picture, Danny, with uh, with the Odegaard goal. That gentleman, he gets the uh, the own goal. So unlucky yeah. stuff from him. This bloke here, I thought there he is. that I was I was at the time I was going just release the ball, release the ball, release the ball. Oh, it's 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 what a wasted chance, yep. and he timed it perfectly. Yep. And that's why ESR got man of the match for little things like that. And uh, yeah, Nelson unlucky not to, to be given the goal, but there's not much you can do about it. He didn't even touch the ball. Then mm. he completely missed. I mean, not, it. not be able to get to it quick enough to he completely. It, it went. It went through. It went through his legs pretty much. Did it? Yeah. I thought they both slid at the same time. No. And the other bloke got to the ball first. Nope. He missed it, and it came off. And the the the, the, the Luton defender was Wasn't behind him. Then. Yes. Yep. So wow. I've put here, Nelson missed it totally poor thus far. ESR having a good game. It's nice to see. And that's just the second the, half. As soon as the goal is scored, I start making notes and then I miss the replay on that. And yeah, they, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not overly same. fond of doing the replay more than three or four times, which would be nice because God knows right. nothing else much was happening, was it? Second right. half, the only notes I've got is the booked for diving and then the four, five substitutions. And that's it. That's all I've got because all it I've was got... just... Yeah, Keep all I've got, all I've got is Erdegaard and Havertz combining really well, which is really nice. Not a fan of the Havertz dive, really dislike that. Seventieth minute, White beaten on the left, Luton trying to get back into the game. Not the game, best games thus far, but we rotated and rested players. Really busy end of the season for us. Um, substitutions, Havertz, Danny. Mm. This is his best ever season in the Premier League so far. He is now. Got eight goals and four assists. This is his best performing Premier League season. And it's not even over yet, Danny. It's not yeah, even over. That, like, like they're surprised. The, the commentators were saying it. And I thought, well, it's obviously that it is because he's he struggled to do anything playing for, for those um that bus stop in in, in Fulham. Yeah, that's it. That's completely correct. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't set it better myself. I've got a heat map here if you're interested. I'm Showing, very interested uh, for the yeah. for, for Havertz. No, for the for both sides. Oh, okay. Uh, Seven hundred and sixty-four touches for the Arsenal, five seven six for them, and you can see this is the game. Our game plan: most of it is us defending and having the ball around the middle of the pitch. Hardly any attacking, and you can see Nelson down there on the right wing. Almost didn't even get to the touch line. There's almost nothing there compared to their bloke on the right hand side. who was a bit of a menace. Who was I can't remember who that was, but he was he was um, doing lots of uh, attacking down the right. But our team tend to be a very, yeah, a little bit more attacking down the left. That was mostly Trossard in the first half, but not a very overly attacking um, heat map, is it? I thought that was Clark, wasn't it? Clark, who had a, he, he looked like a decent player. Number 18, mm. Clark. He looked like a um, decent little player. I would tell I you who that, that was. Essentially oh. might have been him. Match centre. Um, it was uh, Clark and Berry were running down the right-hand side. So, yeah, yeah Clark was yeah. the midfielder. Clark was, yeah, Clark. I remember the number 18. He looked uh, he looked fairly decent, the player. Um, so, uh, But, yeah, as I said, Luton played well tonight. They didn't play bad. I thought Doughty is a, is a good play. He's a decent play. He's a big guy as well. I didn't realise how big he was. Um, but, uh, you know, we got the result in the end. But, yeah, no, best season for Havertz thus far in the Premier League. Hmm. It's nice to see Trossard had a brilliant game tonight. Um and uh, what else have we got here? Eighty-eight minutes. Eddie shot deflection. Keeper saves near the post. And that's all I've got in the regards to the game. That's all I've got. Um, what we've got some comments here. Uh, oh, okay. I've just up. seen. I've just seen the, the message. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, I have you got? Have you done this one here? Man of the match for me was Erdegaard. Have you got from? Here? No, I didn't. No, no that's all right. That's no. okay. We'll, we'll go through them then. Yeah. So, man of the match for me was Erdegaard. I. Absolutely adore Odegaard, but I think ESR was the man. Even though Odegaard was constantly, once again, pulling all of the strings, I thought ESR, um, him coming back, I thought he was definitely rusty as and and all the numbers says. ESR wasn't clinical enough tonight against the weaker side. He had, a, um, he had a, at least one very good chance, but shot straight at the keeper needs to improve or to be replaced. Not at the required level, in my opinion. Interesting. But he's got all the skills to be at the required level. Because that's, when yeah, you, we need two squads to compete the way we have this season, and he could be pushing for, to be in the first team squad when when Havertz is when we're playing a slightly different formation, he could be the left eight, and he would be wonderful. And then Erdegaard would drop back a bit. Smithrow would be the one that gets forward and then backs up someone like uh, 
whoever we're going to be playing up front next season. Hopefully, Jesus will be long gone, as will Zinchenko, Ramsdale, uh, and Nketiah, Nelson. Long old list of players there to get rid of. It's going to be a big change up of things, isn't there, at the end of the mm. season in the summer? There's definitely going to be a big, big change up. Um, but uh, yeah, I, you know, at the end of the day, ESR is going to be super rusty. The guy doesn't play much football for us. Um, he had an opportunity tonight and he took it. I know he had a few moments where he was a little bit suspicious, quote, not looking uh, fantastic. Go on. Rudy's put a quote up about Emil. If you want to read oh, okay. it, yeah, yeah, sure. Really enjoyed myself tonight. It's been a long time since I've started. It's been a tough season for me. I'm delighted with the start and the three points as well. I'm, yeah, I think overall, guys, we've got to look at this game and go, okay, yeah, we won a 2 0 game against Luton at home. Yeah, it wasn't the game that we thought it was going to be, especially after all everybody's predictions thinking it was going to be like 8 0 and everything like that. Oh, easy, Sub- Tiger. Subsequently, easy. wasn't it? Subsequently, wasn't that sort of game. At least I didn't However, say an 8 5 loss. <laughs> true. And it, and also, and also, at least you didn't say, like Stan, that we conceded a goal. Unbelievable. Are you really trying to tell me that Morris was going to get past Saliba? Nah, that's not, that's not be silly. That's not be silly. <clears throat> but the fact that we were able to make changes, Danny, we were able yep. to make huge rotations. We even gave Saka a full rest, not even on the bench. He's fully at home, putting his feet up like he deserves, and we yep. still managed to get the result. Okay. So that's what we've got to look at. We've got to look at those moments and be very, very happy about them. Um, what else we got here? Bulgarian Guma, Benjamin White is an enigma. I love him. We're Absolutely down to. Love. Yeah. Are we, have we? Have you? Have you said these ones already? No, I haven't said them. Oh, okay. I was just saying. I'll we, go back to like... your. Yeah, 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 no worries. Um, Peter Coulson here. The defender made a hash of it. Cough. Is that because one of them was something? Oh, was his I name Hash? Still a man at Luton on loan from Man United. Apparently, he's had a spell with Birmingham. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, Patrick Carson, the Gabby block. That was very nice. Him getting down on one oh. knee. I mean, old... Saliba did one as well. He hooked it round and injured the uh, the defender as well, the Japanese bloke. Yes, now, that that, well, that was almost like Matrix style fish hooking. No, no eye gouging, no fish hooking, and he fish hooked him. Do you know what we uh, we you know what we saw as well tonight, Danny? We saw some yeah. diving heading, uh, diving clearing headers. Oh, oh love Tony a bit Adams. of that. Tony love Adams a bit be, of that. What would be uh, moist at the thought of that? Hell yeah. Phil Macker, Benny was showboating tonight. He's no ordinary English defender. Love the bloke. Uh, love you, Hanson. Evening, lads. When will Arteta have a chat about the Chelsea manners of diving with Havertz? I'm sure that conversation will happen this evening. If not, it'll be at some point this week. Because, yeah, I don't ever, ever want to see that sort of bullshittery ever again. I despise diving just as much as I hate the crowd going, Shoot! Shoot! Anyway, Phil Macker. I was there the day Johnny Jensen scored. Oh, really? There we are. Yep, into QPR. Are. New Year's Eve. There we are. There we Late are. Late that night, I went off to Wembley Arena for the largest ever indoor rave. There's was a lot that, of grinning that night. Was that the video you showed me, or was that another? Was that mm, another? No, that, I think that was United Dance at Stevenage. Oh, okay, fair enough then. Mm. Phil Macker looks like Danny's ass heat map. Brilliant. Film <laughs> formerly knows her, Phil. Rude. Nice. I'm glad that we're all enjoying that one. Uh, Rudy, oh, this is the this was the comment. Uh, and then we've got Peter Coulson. ESR just interviewed on TNT. He's such a shy lad. He mentioned what a tough season it's been for him at least three times. I, I as I said to you guys, I've met ESR. I met him at uh I met him in Barnet um at a was it foot golf? That's it. Foot golf. Every single, and because it's near London Coney, every single Arsenal player pretty much goes there. ESR went there, and I heard he was there, and because my parents live nearby, I popped over, bumped into him. Apparently, he's the only Arsenal player that's been there that's actually paid. Because all of the others, they've um, hit the guy who owns it goes, no, no, play, play for free, play for free, just promote us a bit. But ESR demanded still and paid for him and all of his mates, and he's the only player thus far to do that and i got a picture with him and he's a really lovely lad and that was before we signed the contract and got the number 10 shirt so i'm hoping i had something to do with that but just, I'll, I'll keep that in my own mind patrick carlson when will Vieira get the chance danny never i he's, think he's do you know what chances I, I think the guy needs a loan 
Um, where do you think, Danny? Do you think he's going to be? Do you think he's just going to get straight out sold That'll at the be, end of the season? It'll be off back off to Portugal with his yeah. skinny little legs. Uh, it'll be a loan with an option to buy for ten million or something. That'll be a fifteen million pound loss. Christ, yeah, that brilliant. was a dodgy summer. Him and Nuno and uh, Lokonga. That's uh, what sixty million quid. But you know, you got to take these chances. Wait, Lokonga plays for Luton. At the moment, on loan, correct. He wouldn't have yeah. played this evening, um, yeah. but the Congas played fairly decent. Uh, decent for uh, okay, mm. cool. He's played fairly decent for for Luton thus far. Uh, we got here, Avon. This team selection was as much as about the upcoming buying game as it was about the Premier League challenge. I completely agree with you, Stefan. I was there too. Had the T-shirt, nice. Rudy. But uh, Leano Trossard on confidence levels, they are really high. Hopefully, we can maintain this, and we have uh, to take it game by game because we're playing every three games. Because Three Trossard's plays. had issues when he starts games where we have we've pointed the finger and implied he's only good as a super sub. So I think right. tonight has made us question our uh, our thoughts about that. Okay, okay. Um, and then we've got Rudy here. Now it's recovery and just get ready for the Brighton game. Maybe we've got that on the weekend. Uh, Phil Mack, a foot golf for fuck's sake. It's pretty fun, to be fair. Um, uh, we'll save that question to the end. Um, we'll be quick with this one, guys. Because it's a, it was a short game, so we otherwise we'll just be here just talking uh, and answering loads of questions. Avon Vieira had his chance. I agree. Fabio Vieira is too lightweight for the Prem. Completely agree. Patrick Carson Sambi is injured. I did not know. I just thought he wouldn't have played because of the the loan. Um, Rudy Arteta on Smith Rowe. I th- I think a lot. I love him as a player. It's a joy to watch him. Now he moves. He has changes. How physical um, he was well today. As he was as well today. Oh, he's physical as well today. Uh, he's a joy to watch. Um, today, nice he helped to us a lot to win the game. Yeah, it's it's rare, isn't it, uh, uh, Danny, with Arteta in regards to complimenting players that are on the fringes. But he's always had a lot to say about Emil Smith-Rowe. He's always wanted mm. the, uh, the best for him. So hopefully we can get the best out of him towards the end of the season, Danny. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. Peter Coulson, got to love ESR. Him and Saka are model professionals and genuinely great people. I completely concur. That's probably why that uh, their their song is com- one of their songs is combined. Bulgarian Guma Vieira had his own injury issues this season, and Rudy Arteta he's a joy to watch. Today he helped us win the game. Speaking about ESR, like we've covered, and Sammy did his hamstring in Feb. Was doing very well. He was masked gunner. He was exactly that. We got a question then for Peter Coulson. If you have any questions, pop them in the chat right now because we're not going to answer too many. But uh, if you have any questions, put them in the chat now before we just go, no, no more questions. Uh, Peter Coulson, question. If we don't win the league, which of the other two would you prefer to win the Prem? What question is this, Danny? Uh, we're going to win the league. I don't, and I'm sorry, not, Peter. What, it has I'm to not... be Liverpool because I do not want anyone to win it four times in a row. I hate both of those teams. Neither of them deserve it. But I don't want City to go... Yeah, we won four in a row. We've 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 got a couple of things that are hard to do. We've done the three in a row. We've done the invincible. That's two things that other people can only can't beat. And I don't want someone to beat the three in a row. I'm sorry, Peter. I'm not even going to answer that question. Arsenal are going to win the Premier League this season. I'm sorry. I'm not going to justify that absolutely atrocious question that you've made me read. Bad I'm, man, I'm, a, yeah. I'm appalled with you. Bad I'm man. appalled. Uh, Phil Macker, Arteta on Kai. He needs to leave his dirty... Ch- oh, wait. He blatantly didn't say this, did he? <laughs> <laughs> he blatantly didn't say that. I would love to think he did say that. But he blatantly didn't say that, Phil. You nearly got me there. You nearly got me. You, you, if you would have missed out the C word, I might have believed you to a certain degree. <laughs> Trav, uh, Vieira isn't good enough, in my opinion. He'll do well in the French and Italian. Yeah, he needs to go to a lightweight farmer's league, doesn't he? And in all the numbers, don't want Klopp to win uh, anything ever again. See, that's the catch, isn't it? Christ. A mask gunner. Liverpool don't want four in a row, same as Danny. Uh, and then we've got Phil. I couldn't bear to see Liverpool win it again. With City, it just doesn't matter. I think a lot of people may concur with that. Danny has a great point, but I think a lot of people with concur just go, if he, when City win things, we just go, oh, it's, well, they bought it, didn't they? Pretty much. They bought it. Um, and then we've got Love Johansson here. ESR is good enough to ask for a transfer to another big team. Never has. Shows character, actually. I think ESR and Arteta have a good relationship. And that's exactly what we were saying. 
Um, I don't think I ever hear Arteta talk about someone on the fringes like he t- uh, like he talks up ESR. Um, so I'll talk. I'll do a few more here. That we got a question here. Any other questions? Put them in the chat. I'm not going to do loads. Put them in the chat right now. Um, Phil laughing. Oh no, sorry. Love you, Hanson. Laughing at the Phil uh, about the quote from Arteta, which clearly wasn't a quote from Arteta. Uh, Avon, Liverpool have spent more than one billion more than us in wages over the last four seasons. City have spent two billion more. And at least um, that's what we put on, on their books. Yes, well, we have no idea, do we? I'm very interested to see what the wages expenditure weekly is for. Uh, maybe we can get that next next time, Danny. Wages uh, expenditure for the uh, uh, for the teams in the Premier League. Just teams in the Premier League. Obviously, City, uh, all the big teams, maybe the top yeah. six. Because um, I want to see where Arsenal are in comparison to like City, Chelsea, Liverpool, United, and so on and so forth. I think it'd be, um, be Chelsea, Man United, and Man City if you wait up, and then everyone else will be next. Yeah, I'm, I'm intrigued to see something like that. I want to see what the wage mm. expenditure is weekly on that. Um, Rudy, Arteta, and Oligar, we need more balance as well. The chemistry with certain players have. Martin is vital to connect everything with the way we play. And in all the numbers, Plastic City would be preferable as there is a chance, haha that a title will be taken off them retrospectively mm-hmm. with the Maybe hashtag 115 com- completely obviously uh, issues that they've got uh, with some dodgy dealings under the table. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, and then Phil Macker here, nearly Deeks. Yeah, you nearly got me. You nearly got me. Peter Coulson, sorry, Deeks. It was, of course, a moot question since we obviously will win the league in style. That's more like it. Danny. 2-0 against Luton. Huge changes made. We've got Bayern coming up this week. Twi- sorry, coming up this month twice. We've got lots of games. We've got a, a, a hefty, a hefty, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, fixture list. Fixture oh. list. I was thinking a fixture list. We've got a very heavy fixture list uh, for the next uh, couple of months going up until the 19th of May. I hope mm. that we will be in a little final as well afterwards, but we'll have to wait and well, see. Well, this is where it broke us last season. Game number 41 last season is when our season fell apart. So far, we've played game 41 and 42, and we're still on track. That's good to hear. I didn't think of that, Danny. That's a nice little mood booster. A very yeah. nice little mood booster. Um, I'll read these few last ones, guys, and then we will call it because at the end of the day, it was a 2-0 victory. Quite a boring game over Luton, but we move forward with with positivity and the fact that we were able to rotate so heavily which is something that we don't rarely see uh we sorry it's, we do rarely see sorry um avon would be uh at the bottom of the top six chelsea spurs united all spend more in the wages than we do i'd be interested to see it regardless arteta on saka he was close but again he felt something in a very similar area against city and it was a very tu- uh, short turnaround i'm hoping it's not anything too much we'll have to wait and see i think everybody's going to be living on twitter for the the next few days trying to find out as much as they can about Saka and hopefully he will return to uh, against Brighton on the weekend. Rudy, hopefully he'll be able to train again and we'll have to have him in for the weekend. Oh, that's exactly what I was saying. Anyway, um, Phil, could we play tonight's lineup against anyone else? Danny? Sheffield United, Burnley. Um, hmm. Have we still that's got those to play it. in our run up? No. no, we're done with those. That's we're done, I, we've done both against Sheffield United, six and win five. Okay, nil. so so with the <clears> games <throat> that are remaining in the league, mm. do we use that lineup ever again? No, no, no. I don't think so. No, no, no that's, that's Jesus Christ. Um, Trav, with the title being as tight as it is, uh, who is most likely to be our uh, Aguero moment, the guy that's going to win the league for us? Who do you think it's going to be, Danny? Yeah, Odegaard, that'd be nice. I can just hear yeah, that. Yeah, I, I was. Ears. That's literally who I was going to go with as well. I would love for Odegaard to be the man that uh, that does it. Second would probably be Havertz. I think I think I'd like to see Havertz be involved in that as well, especially with the connection that they're playing at the moment. It's it's really nice to see. Uh, Peter the Coulson, team from the league from, positions last season is Everton, who finished 20, 19, 19, 17th. Uh, so in yes, yeah, so the 17th, we've got to play Everton at home. And um, Bournemouth finished uh, 15th, we've got to play them at home. Wolves finished 13th, we've got to play them away. And Chelsea finished 9th, 11th, and we've got to play them at home. So they're the, they're the bottom four teams in the, going by how they finished last season. We've got to play this season, right? Okay, okay, 
It's going to be interesting. It's definitely mm. going to be interesting. Peter Coulson, the Harry Kane hype train next week is going to be sickening. Well, the guy, what was it? The Bayern Munich haven't, the last time they haven't won a title was when, when Harry Kane was at Millwall on loan. 11, 11 consecutive titles, I think they've won. Yes, they have. That's a Dortmund and, fan, I know all too well. There we go. Um, and then we've got Avon here, uh, save Saka for Bayern. Interesting. That could be a potential, that's for sure. Seb S, Liverpool versus Man United. Thoughts on Twitter? Liverpool um, versus Man United. What do you think? I wouldn't be surprised if Man United pulls something out of the hat for this because... I agree. They are a team full of world-class players in certain positions and they hate them. That rivalry yep. is for Liverpool and Man United. Man United, that, they probably hate Liverpool more than they hate Man City. Yep. And Liverpool probably hate Man United more than they hate Everton. Yep, I completely and agree. That rivalry, and I can see it's happened so many times in the past, Man United going to an informed Champions, Champions League Liverpool and smashing them. I agree. <clears throat> so hopefully. I agree. Oh, I really Kane's hope. Back. Yeah, okay, we've got Kate Johnson here. Sorry I'm late. Was Why? lovely to see ESR again. It was. And uh, a well-deserved man of the match performance for him. But in regards to this... I also can see Man United pulling something out of the bag. The rivalry between the two teams, they despise each other. And I hope they rip each other apart. But, you know, it's just me. It's just me. Uh, Phil Macker, fuck the Aguero moment. It's Mickey Thomas moment, for fuck's sake. I completely concur. And Kate with hello. But unfortunately, it's time for us to go. We've been here for three quarters of an hour talking about a Luton 2 0 game, which was very boring, but it was a needed game where we made. Lots of rotational changes. It was nice to see ESR back. Got himself a man of the match. The early guard and Havertz combinations were nice to see. Trossard doing the business. Saka having a well-earned rest. And Party looking fairly decent, Danny. And I'll tell you what, that's also a player that we're going to need coming pinging at the end of the season. Quality balls. I, I pinging all the balls. He was pinging all of the balls. Phil Macca, great show, ladies. And Super Cali, thanks. But uh, we will leave it here. Thanks to everyone for jumping in. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit the like button on the YouTube video. If you're watching this post, we appreciate you. Share. Share among your friends and your family. Even if they don't follow football, make sure they listen to it. The high level of podcasting that we give for free is just well, stunning stuff, guys. Stunning stuff. And if you're brand new... Well, I, 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 you got to be It's A-level. <laughs> sure, oh, I agree. I agree. Um, but uh, yeah, if uh, if you haven't already subscribed, hit us up with a subscription. It is completely free on the YouTubes. But there we are. Danny, do you have any final words? I need a poo. I think we can't really beat that, guys. Let's bring that. Let's uh, let's 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 see what we can do on the weekend. And then we've got the two huge games against Bayern Munich. And I'll tell you what. What a way to finish this season for the next few months. Games after games. Good. And I'll tell you what, we're on we're on course, guys, for the double. I'm just saying. <laughs> Positive mental attitude, guys. Take care. Goodbye. As soon as I scored that goal, I was fucking livid. Get down, dog. Splendid business. He nearly caught the bloody thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> So I've just eaten a full quiche. Well, you don't often see them at him. So when you see them in the supermarket, they need to be swagged. Microwaved immediately and get the brown sauce on them and bosh, Bob's your uncle. Never in doubt.